Making Basic Calls, Part 3. We'll wrap up the end of Making Basic Calls by going over the details on how to utilize the call history when making calls. Why would I want to make, utilize my call history view or tab at the top? It's a great way to be able to call someone you've already called. And you can see the list of those people, click on it, and automatically make a call. You could also dial on behalf of a work group. This is a great way if you want the caller ID to reflect appropriately, showing that you're calling on behalf of a particular work group. Let's go ahead and make a call utilizing the call history view at the top of my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. If you do not happen to have the call history tab or view at the top, where do we go? Let's go ahead and do a quick review. You go over to the top left hand side to your file, new and view. From here, this should look familiar, how to create a new view. There we can see the call history. So again, if you do not have that tab or view at the top, just go ahead and select it and click OK at the bottom. Since we already have our call history, looks like I've been busy. It shows the last 300 interactions I've had. It stores again up to 300. I could scroll down and look through the list of all the different calls or interactions I've called or missed or answered. You can see them here. What I love about this feature, the call history, is it allows me to utilize this thinking, oh yeah, I called that Indianapolis number. That's the number exactly what I need. Let me go ahead and call that person again. How do I do so? I just click on the hyperlink and it asks me to confirm to dial the number. As Soon as I click yes, it automatically jumps to the tab for my interactions or my queue and it could show that I'm already connected to the call. So very easy, very quick, at your fingertips, allows you to make a call that to someone you've already called prior. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this call by clicking on the disconnect button and want to show you how do we make a call on behalf of a work group. Where do I go to do that? Up at the top in my enter a name or number to dial, I can click on the drop down arrow and you can see all the other numbers that I've called just recently as well. I made a call to Indianapolis, Indiana, but then you see this little icon over to the right hand side. This is to dial on behalf of a work group. If I want to call this number on behalf of a work group, I can choose which work group am I choosing or which work group am I dialing on behalf of. Looks like in this case, I'm going to go ahead and dial on behalf of the Travel Services Domestic Travel Work Group. Automatically dials the call, shows that I'm connected, but I would like to point out over on the very far left in the queue, it shows that it's part of the Travel Services Domestic Travel. So again, this is just a great way if you want the caller ID to reflect appropriately if you dial on behalf of a work group. As we've just learned, there's multiple ways to make basic calls as we can see on our screen. It's up to you to choose which one works best for you. And I appreciate you joining me today. This has been yet another just-in-time short video on how to make basic calls.